We are the only fully accredited dental laboratory program in Upper New York State, in the whole region as a matter of fact, the whole Northeast. Um, so our accreditation standards are very, very rigid. The laboratories, uh, the ADA mandates that we stay around uh, 12 to 1. But in addition to the one faculty, we we'll also have a tutor. Lectures are uh, 32 students in the class. When they first come in, the first uh, introductions we have, we introduce the industry to them, and we uh, show them <clears throat> another course. We'll teach them how to use the equipment that we have and the, the materials that we'll be using. We introduce all of the occupation, how it, how it operates around this equipment and materials. And then we, uh, the very first technical thing that they really get into is uh, we teach them how to make complete dentures. We introduce them to complete dentures and also we do the format for restorative for Crown and Bridgework. In the third semester, they continue with more advanced Crown and Bridge, more advanced partial denture techniques, but also now they start getting into ceramics technique and orthodontic techniques. They start to build braces appliances for the teeth to move the teeth to different positions. And in the fourth semester, they continue with brushing up repetition on all these items. Most of the classes last a couple, an hour, hour and a half a day, and these labs, they're long labs. And we have students that come in like early in the morning, seven o'clock, and they're here right until five o'clock at night. It probably was optional specialties were probably exceeding 70 credit hours, which is quite a load. So many students do it on a two and a half, three year basis. Before they leave this uh, program, uh, like usually at the end of April, or early part of May, they'll take an exam from the national boards. Our seniors take the national boards right here at our facility in May of every year. And we have virtually 100% passage. And because it's national, they are not locked into New York State. So without taking any further exams, without any further documentation, they can go anywhere in the United States. I would like to have everyone start to do some of the work. My whole purpose is to be able to have them find a job when they leave. National companies have opened very large labs in the Buffalo area and they need technicians and I say need in capital letters. So if somebody wants to just graduate and go out and work at the bench, they grab them. We have several students that go on into, they try to get into dental school. Most people don't realize you do not need a baccalaureate degree for dental school. Dental schools love our graduates. In addition to the dental courses, they must have two years of chemistry, in organic chem with labs, organic chem, physics, a minimum of one year of biology and an upper level math. And with those courses, and of course with a decent average, they are prime candidates for dental school. Just put it up to the light and see if you can see a little flat of light showing through the casting. Every one of our instructors has, so to speak, one leg in the real world and one leg in the academic world. We want the student to learn the knowledge that we have. We don't want to just stand up there and teach. Because I, I feel as though you stand there and teach, they don't develop from that. Uh, with the students, we try to make a social atmosphere. We make it almost like a home. It's really almost like a family. We keep this corner of building number two in the second floor, and the students really live there. They only leave the area for the ones who have to take liberal arts. And then they come right back. <laughs>